Hi creatives, I'm Rita Bearcat. It is Mixed Media Monday and I am so excited to be back with you guys. Um, when I miss a week, it's like a lot. And so I am super happy to be here with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed last week's video uh, with my son, Isaiah. He did an awesome job. And so I'm super excited just to be back and in the studio because let me tell you, um, going two weeks without doing any type of hands-on mixed media makes me crazy. And uh, yes, I was so, 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 um, happy. I'm so happy to be back. Um, so hello, hello. You guys are popping on. Hi, Margie. Hi, Liza. Hi, Danielle. Hi, guys. So as long as you guys are popping on, I want to um, go ahead and get started. I have a lot of stuff on my desk tonight. Yeah, I know. Straight hair. My daughter was like, can you please do it straight? You haven't done it straight in so long. And I'm like, eh. It's more work, um, but I did it for her it's just so she can see how long it's actually getting because I've been really, really working on letting it grow and so it does look super long. It's getting there. So anyways, and I can put it behind my ear. Yay. <laughs> it's the little things in life, right? Hi, Michelle. Hi, Kathy. Hi, guys. Okay, so we are going to pan down and get started and um, oh my gosh, this is this is probably gonna be like super messy because I've totally missed it. <laughs> so anyways, I want you to tune in to the end because I wanna talk to you about a little something something that's going on um, coming up super soon. So, oh, thanks, Kathy. It's kind of weird for me. It kind of feels like really super flat and I kind of let a, like a little poof, but you know, whatever. What The things that we do for our kids, right? Okay, so panning down. All right. so. On my desk, you see, I've got a ton, ton, ton of goodies. Um, I just pulled like a ton of stuff from my stash, like different things see, that, oops, sorry, I've got an ton, echo. Ton of um, I just... Little echo there, sorry about that. Okay, so, uh, hi, Ashley Lynn. Oh, no. Um, okay, so I am, I've got all these fun goodies here. Oh, let me... Let me see if I can get you guys a little closer. My son is a lot taller than I am, so he had adjusted my camera. So I wanna make sure, so you can see, like I've got, I pulled all these goodies. So these are just things that I've had in my stash. So a little, um, these are like paper flowers, these are clay, these are plastic. I've got some burlap and some silk. And this was, uh, this actually, I pulled this apart a little bit earlier. Um, it's a silk flower, but I didn't like, um, it had this yellow plastic on the inside and it was like a really ugly yellow. Um, and those of you who know me really well know that I have an aversion <laughs> to yellow. <laughs> uh, so I, um, pulled it out. Um, and so I'm having to, I stuck some, uh, modeling paste in there in between the layers cause I want it to stay together because we're going to use it tonight. So just because you don't like something the way it looks doesn't mean that you can't use it in your mixed media projects later. I've got some netting and some tool. I've got some leaves and I don't even know what you call these little pearl thingies, but these are always fun and come in handy. And so I just have like a, you know, a little Mod Podge, Mod Podge of stuff. I've also grabbed, um, I have some clay wings that I made before, and uh, this is an oops. This is one of my dies, but sometimes the printers do really weird things. Oh, hi, Cam. Um, they do really, my printer sometimes does weird things, and so um, it printed it white. I don't know why, so um, instead of yellow, but we're gonna go ahead and use that tonight. I thought that would be fun. I've got this piece of acrylic that I showed you guys before that you can use embossing powder on acrylic and this is not like a cheap piece of acrylic. It's pretty thick. I don't know, can, can you guys see that? I mean, it's pretty thick. Usually acrylic's really thin, but this is from um, Clear Scraps and it's really thick. So I'm going to, I, I will not be using a magical sponge on a stick. <laughs> but I did see that and I thought it was hilarious. Hi, Jenny. Okay, so the acrylic, first you gotta take off this. 
And usually I leave it on as long as I can so I don't get fingerprints and stuff on it. But we're going to heat emboss this. And let's move you over here a little bit. Um, I've also got some rigid wrap. Oh, and let me turn this slide on for you. Might be a little bit. Um, we did this one as well. I think it was on that same uh, same video, same Mixed Media Monday, where we used the mermaid fin on a just a little chipboard word. We're probably going to use that. I just grabbed a bunch of different things that I thought, you know, could come together and make some... Um, make some fun elements on a canvas. Now this canvas is actually a piece of wood and um, you know you never know when you're gonna find something cool, a cool shape, and just because it is um, not painted the way you like it or whatever, doesn't mean that it wouldn't be a great shape to work with. And I And right away you look at it and to me I see a frame I see, oh, you know, and my first thought was, oh, this would be nice to do a nice painting in and then use this as, you know, your artist's nameplate. <laughs> but I have changed my mind and we're going to totally do something else with it. So, all right. So this is going to be our base, but let's go ahead. Actually, let's start with, we're going to start with the rigid wrap because it takes a little bit to dry. All right, and then we'll work on, we'll do the rigid wrap first and then we'll work on these little elements over here. All right, so I've got my rigid wrap. I've got myself a little tub of water, of clean water. All right, hi Linda. So I've got my tub of clean water and I'm gonna, I'll just put this down right here. So hopefully you can see that okay. And what you do is, Oh, and you'll see that I, I don't have any rings on tonight, and it's because of the rigid wrap. Because this is, it's got like a plaster in it. So when you get your, the rigid wrap wet, sometimes that plaster really sticks into your ring. So I did take my rings off for this video. I am not single, <laughs> as my hubby will gladly tell you. <laughs> he gets, you know, real crazy about these things. All right, so I wanted to have this like draping effect here. I thought it would be kind of cool. And what's cool about the rigid wrap is however you, whatever you see, right? However you see it and however you drape it is exactly how it will dry. And it dries pretty quickly. So I really love this stuff. And it comes in big giant rolls, which is really nice. Okay, so um, let's do some more wrinkles on that side. And I'm just gonna, I wanna make sure that, that some of these edges are really down. So that it sticks very nicely and that I'm not worried about it later coming up. Because we're gonna add a lot of paint and embossing powder and uh, just all kinds of stuff to this project. All right, I like that. Um, oh, let's put a little bit more wrinkles. Now, if you really want a lot of texture, you can use, um, Tifa also sells some type of, a, like a wire, I forget what it's called, but it's like a wire and you can put the rigid wrap over the wire. Hi, Renee. And it will um, give you like raised edges. So, um, and this is just part of what we're doing here. Just wanna make sure, yeah, okay, I'm making, I wanted to make sure you guys can see it. Um, so this is just part of what we're doing for this canvas. This is gonna have a lot, a lot, a lot of mixed media stuff. So it'll be really cool. Okay, so got that on. I'm kinda just wiping off some of this. Um, and it, it does actually wash right off. It's just that when it gets into those crevices of your rings, it's not a good thing. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say. All right, so I'm gonna grab, oh, uh, let's grab some. I'm gonna grab some modeling paste. Okay, and when you see modeling paste, sometimes you will see the word um, molding paste or um, what else? 
I'm trying to think. You guys help me. Those of you guys who know, there's a lot of there's a lot of different names for it. Um, you know, in Liquitex is the only one that kind of calls it a like a heavy gel medium. Um, that different different companies call it different things. So I'm just taking some of this mauling paste, and I'm just gonna stick it right on there. And what's nice is that it takes a little bit to dry, but not too long. And while it's drying, you can still, you know, you can still work with it and you can still move it around, which is super nice. But once it is dry and in place, it's solid. It's not going to go anywhere. So I am just, let's just play with some placement here. Oh, let's add some. I had some. I had a piece of lace here. It looks like I must have dropped it. I don't know. I had a piece of lace. Oh, here. Okay. So, oh, here it is. All right. So I was kind of thinking maybe we can, this is what's nice about the modeling paste is that you have a little bit of time to work things in. So I'm going to kind of tuck this under here because I don't want to see the edge. And once that, that this is all dry, I'm going to use um, Mod Podge Ultra because what is cool about Mod Podge Ultra is that you can spray it onto like a fabric or whatever and it will stiffen up and stay in place. But right now, because we're playing, Oh, you're so welcome. Hi, Christy. Because we're playing and we want to, you know, play with our placement. And I'm not worried that there are all these, all these flowers are different. Okay, so, and the modeling paste gives us time to work. And move things around. And... It's okay. It looks like, I know it looks like totally mismatch and stuff, but it's going to be okay. I promise. <laughs> I promise. It's going to look really pretty. Well, let's use these two. Let's use this in there. So we're just kind of making all these flowers into place. Um, I wanted to make a lot, a lot of flowers. Let's put this one, kind of tuck that in there. We're going to put one over here. And... Okay, and stick this in here. So you can play with it and, you know, just decide. You know, when you decide that, oh, let's put some, let's put some leaves. And I'm not worried that, you know, they're not, a, they're not the same color. It's just not going to matter in the end. Okay, I'm not a big fan of these stems. I think I'm, I'm just going to rip them off and tuck them under. And what'll happen is once we start playing with paint and looking at the different things, then we're going to see, oh, okay, there are, um, the paint will take to the different elements. Hi, Mary. Okay, so I'm just ripping off those stems, sticking them under, just kind of tucking them in with the paste. Here's another one. So it will be very different and magical looking. Um, there's two, they're all pink flowers except for the burlap. So which ones are you talking about? Danielle is asking, what kind of flowers are those? So this one is silk. These are clay and these are plastic. Okay, let's put 
some more of these. Ripping off that back. And you can see I'm, I'm being quite generous, but I'm not, I don't want to tuck down. I don't want to, um, I don't want to lose all movement, right? So sometimes like these, I left that open. Okay, this one I'm kind of pushing it up and holding it into place with the paste. Okay, um, I'm trying to think if I want to really put all these flowers on here. Kind of seems like I lost my, the rigid wrap is already dry. And it's not 100%, but it's pretty stiff already, which is cool. Let's put some down here. But what's going to be really neat is that the flowers, the different, because they're different um, textures, they're going to be, they'll take the paint differently. Every single one of them will take it differently. So you'll get lots of different looks, even though, even though we'll be using like the same colors. Okay, now I have that little, here it is. I have this little frame. And this is just like plastic. That's gonna go in here. And then our little clay heart that I made before is gonna go in the center. So we're gonna make sure we've got plenty of paste to stick on top of there. And don't worry if you get paste somewhere else because the paste is really good. It's super paintable. All right, I wanna, I think, I'm trying to think if I wanna add this tool. I don't know. Maybe not. Well, I'll leave that off. But let's add some of this stuff. This stuff is fun. I've had this stuff forever. I think it's to go with like flower arrangements maybe. I don't know. Don't ask me um, if I like it and it looks pretty and I think I might use it. <laughs> I get it. Thanks Margie for putting up that link. Yeah, this stuff is awesome. But it's got to be a nice and thick one. Can't be having some wimpy one. Oh yeah, see, I think that's going to look really cool. Let's stick this one over here. Yeah, let's put that in there. Now, this is the first time I'm using the light modeling paste I usually for these kind of projects use the heavier one so I will let you know how it ends up if um, you know if I end up not liking it because of course you know we're not going to finish everything today I have to wait for it to be completely dry um, to move on Yeah, I think it is for wedding stuff. Yeah, but you know, you never know where you could find some really cool stuff. I found some really cool stuff in the hardware store. You know, my husband's looking for stuff and I'm so bored. And then I'm like, hey, this looks cool. I don't know what they use it for, but I know what I'm going to use it for. Okay, so that... I think this is good for the for the bottom. All right, so for the top, I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this as a template. And now I do, I do I think I want to go here versus here. I don't know, I usually go here, but I feel like I wanna go here. And I'm actually doing it upside down, so let me show you. So that's, this part down here, that's gonna be, of course, the base, and then this will be up here. So let's take, I wanna do a couple things here. 
So my thought process, I'm going to just kind of draw this shape here so I can line it up nicely when we're ready to glue. Now, I want to adhere this right onto this canvas, so I'm going to have to use a super strong like glue, but um, so in order for me to use a super strong glue, right, I'm going to have to cover these edges, right? I'm gonna have to cover some of the top. I don't wanna have to be perfect on the top because I wanna be able to see through on the bottom some of the project. Yes, this is the bottom of the frame because the fairy, I'm gonna cut her out real quick and she's gonna go on top of here. So what I kinda, yeah, so I'm gonna cut her out and I'm gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, sorry, I'm, I'm like thinking and, and talking to you guys at the same time. It's kind of hard. <laughs> ah, okay, anyways. All right, so we're gonna do some heat emboss on here. So let's set this up. Let's put it this way so you can look at it. I just need a little bit more room here. And we're gonna take now I will tell you to be super super duper careful if you're going to do heat emboss on acrylic because not all acrylic is the same make sure that it's super heavy you know make sure that you're watching what you're doing so that you know if you start to see you know feel fumes or if you're feeling like um, if it's melting or whatever, then you probably want to stop. I'm just saying. All right, so I've got a little bit of Midnight Magic here, and I've also got the Mermaid Fin. I'm going to use both, and the reason why is because I want it to glow in the dark. I think it would be so super cool um, to glow in the dark and to not be perfect. And so what will be really cool is that if this glows in the dark, right, and we put this cool figure on top, then when it glows in the dark, right, this part will be shaded. So I just thought that would be really cool. You know, I, I think of the craziest things sometimes, um, you know, when you have something, it's just, I just think it'd be super cool. So we're gonna mix the two together. So let's see, I'm gonna grab this and uh, let's see, Ooh, I gotta get some embossing ink I had to go get I gotta order some more you guys I am almost out so I'm just pouring some embossing ink in here um you know you could use a pad to an ink pad I don't have a clear one right now I gotta get some more I've been using so much of it okay so I'm just gonna go right on top and I'm not even I don't want it to be perfect I want it to be covered, but I don't care if it's perfect because um, you'll see some underneath. And we all know that when we look at the moon, right, it's not perfect, right? It's not most of the time. Okay, so I'm just getting this on here. Let's set that aside. And... Let's do this over this. This tray comes in handy. A lot. Okay, let's put that there. And we're just going to, I'm stirring this up because if you've seen the Midnight Magic, you know that it has blue and black properties. I do want to make sure that some of this is all over the edges at least, but I also want to get that sparkle of the mermaid fin. And let's get some more right there. Because I want the edges to be really noticeable. Okay, so we'll start with this one. 
Oops, we got it on our canvas. Dang it, I was trying to avoid that. I am so messy. It's a good thing I'm wearing an apron. I'll tell you what, because there are some times I'm like, yeah, I don't need an apron. Then I have ruined so many clothes that way. Okay. Let's put that back into place. That fell off when I was moving it. It wasn't all the way dry. Pushing it back. Okay, so now let's get our heat gun. It's starting to melt. I'm trying to keep my gun moving. My heat tool here. Once it melts, move away from that spot. Don't keep doing it on the acrylic. <laughs> yeah, I've ruined many, many, many clothes. Even some really nice ones when I was like, oh, I'm just going to do this one little thing real quick. I'm not going to get dirty. Yeah, right. The best ones is when you um, have paint or something that explode, and that's terrible. This looks cool. All right. I think we've almost got it all. Okay, so really quickly, let's, and be careful because it is super hot. Let's get some of the mermaid fin on there. I don't know how much will stick, but we'll try it and see. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, we want a little sparkle. Who doesn't want a little sparkle? Come on. We all want a little sparkle sometimes. So we'll add that on there. Okay, I think that's gonna be cool. Let's put this back in here. All right, so now we've got our piece and let's heat this up. Now, when you add a second layer on, it does melt a little faster, just because it's already hot to begin with. Ooh, I really like how this looks. It's so pretty. Um, I don't know. You'd have to try it. I've never uh, 
Linda said, uh, I wonder if a CD would work. It might, but it also might melt a lot faster because it's a lot thinner. So I'm not really sure. But it does look pretty, the two together. No, it's a, it's a heavy piece of acrylic, though. It's pretty thick. I may have gotten carried away, but I wanted to have some areas where you can see through it. That was the whole point of using the acrylic. You know, but if you're, I mean, cause you can see how you can see, see through it, just it's subtle. Ooh, you know what? I have another idea, you guys. I'm thinking, what about a battery operated light, right? To put it underneath here, mm, that would be really cool. And then it would light up at night. You could light it up and it, then it will also charge your glow in the dark. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Um, yeah, I get crazy ideas. <laughs> okay, so we've got this. It's ready to go and it's cooling down. All right, so moving our magical mysteries out of the way. So let's go back to our oops die. So the die in the in the kit is not um, it's not white, it's yellow. Yeah, I don't know why it came out white. Oh, this is, I think this might look so pretty like this. Oh my goodness, that's gonna look awesome. It says amazing. Okay, anyways, but we can't put it there right now because we still have to paint it. I just am getting a vision of where it's going and I love that and it looks so cool. Okay, so we are gonna take our little our little uh, fairy hair, and I want to salvage. I want to salvage that moon, but um, I also want to. I want to create a, another layer, so you know I want to use you know foam squares to kind of pop her up. Oh, actually, no, I don't. I want to put her on these wings. So we're also going to clip her wings and put her on here. So, oh, or we could give her double wings. No, let's, no, let's clip her wings. We'll clip her wings. Poor fairy, I know. I know we're going to clip your wings. I'm so sorry, but we're going to give you brand new wings. Okay. So we're going to need to go in here then and cut that center piece out. And maybe we'll use it, maybe we won't. I don't know, but so I want to be careful since I'm not sure if we're going to use it or not. Okay, you do realize that, that these are live and, and I get these crazy thoughts and I do them live because I want you guys to be able to see that sometimes, you know, sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. And it's okay if they don't. Um... But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take her, we're gonna, oops, let my little clippy here. So we're gonna take her, we're gonna put her on top of there, and we are gonna, where am I? I know that that uh, moon is here somewhere. <laughs> the rest of it, here it is. Is this it? No, that's the centerpiece. I don't know where, oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cut that a little bit better. Um, we're gonna paint this a different color and we're gonna put her here, say so that she's hanging off of there and it's gonna be super cool. Um, yeah. It's gonna be super cool. So once it's done and super dry, I'm gonna, um, yeah, all your acrylic bits, all your, your wood, whatever you have, this is about using your stash, you guys, and making something really beautiful um, with all that stash that you have. And of course, this will look a lot better once it's painted. So, but that's what we have for Mixed Media Monday. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you, yay. Um, you can use, and now I'm like, I put it too low. 
<laughs> okay, sorry. I was like bending down to get into there. Okay, so anyways, it's going to be super cool. But that's all we have for tonight for Mixed Media Monday. I hope you enjoy this project and give it a big old thumbs up. And that you will share with your friends because, you know, that's that's what we do. We share. We share with our crafty friends. Um, also, I wanted to make sure that if you are not signed up for the newsletter, there's a lot of fun stuff that's coming up really soon. And there's going to be, um, when I hit summer, I hit it fast and I hit it running. And so it's going to be like, boom, 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 class, 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 new, new release, new release, class, new release, um, that kind of a thing. So I really want to make sure that you guys are all on the newsletter and that you share that with your friends because we don't want them to miss out on anything really cool. Um, we've got some super fun things coming up. I mean, I just can't even begin to tell you some really cool things that are coming up. So um, I really hope that you will get involved and get on my newsletter. And um, thanks, you guys, so much for tuning in tonight. And make sure to come back. Oh, and you're in Texas. Awesome. Um, oh, well, then you really want to be paying attention because I'm doing some classes here in Texas. And I don't do... Um, I don't do a lot of, uh, what do you call it, retail, retail classes. And what I mean by retail is I teach um, store owners and that kind of a thing. And I don't teach a lot just um, to consumers. So, um, but those are coming up in Texas. So, um, yeah, so lots of stuff coming up. Make sure you are on that newsletter. Um, and uh, Margie's got the class page and it's not even, not everything's up there yet. So, but the newsletter will have everything and I can't wait for you to see it. I'm so glad you guys tuned in. This is Mixed Media Monday and I'm Rudy Bearcat. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, there it is. There she put the newsletter link. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks Margie. Bye guys.